I'll be explaining how to create an agent. So in order to create an agent, first you navigate to agent sections and uh, you'll be able to see the agents over here. Click on it. And if you do have uh, agent and you want to make any kind of modifications, you can just click on it. Or if you want to go ahead and create a new agent, just create on, uh, click on create new. Once you create, click on create new, there are multiple options over here create from scratch, talk to AI, use templates and upload scripts. If you want to go ahead and create from scratch, you can go ahead and create from scratch. And uh, if you want to talk to AI and provide it all the requirements of the business and what kind of qualifying questions needs to be asked over the call, you can provide all those details to the AI, how you want the prompting to be. It will create uh, one of the promptings for you based on the details that you have provided as well as uh, if you want to use pre-existing templates and uh, if you want to go ahead with the ones which has already been created, you can click on use templates and go ahead with that. Or if you would like to go ahead with the upload script option and if you do have text file or PDF file, you can just click on upload script and upload the script over here. And then you just go ahead and click on create agent or uh, it will create the agent for you, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and use a pre-existing template. So there are multiple templates over here. Just uh, select any one that you would like to go ahead with. Click on create agent. Yes. So this will be the prompting that we have just uh, selected. So if you want to just uh, increase the size, all we have to do is uh, click on this uh, two arrows to expand now we're able to see all the prompting which was done right here so uh, at the start you're going to see the job role so this whole part is going to be consisting of uh, job role what the ai needs to do and what kind of uh, rules it needs to follow all those things and uh, here you can see the scripting in the scripting part area you'll be able to see uh, what kind of qualifying questions and how the conversation should be done over the call so it consists of ones and ifs condition. And if you scroll down all the way, uh, once the conversational flow is done, you're going to add possible objections here, objection handling guide. Uh, in this one, you're going to add a uh, company's FAQ questions and uh, anything which might uh, be asked over the call, okay? Other than the scripting ones. So you're going to include all those details over here. Yeah, that's it for the prompting and AI agent creation. Yes. And uh, about the LLMs, we do have uh, multiple LLMs over here. Or uh, you can go ahead and select anyone which you would like. And uh, about the voices, from here you can select the voices. There are multiple voices as well. Uh, and uh, there are multiple languages as well. So make sure if you select any kind of other language, the prompting also be done in that particular language. That will be very easier for AI to have conversation with. Okay, and we do have end call option, call transfer. And uh, if you want to connect with the cal.com, you can connect it with the cal.com from here. And uh, if you want to go ahead and test the call, you can test the call from here. Okay, right. Uh, that's all for agent creation.